Hi, welcome to Thomas Brown Coaching. Um, today I want to talk about visual references as uh, points that we can use to help drive us forward and to help motivate us. Um, there's lots of visual references that people can use um, in order to put them in a place where they want to be. One of the visual references that I've used in the past is um, like a vision board. Um, so you set out, you have an idea of, let's say, where you want to go with your long-term goal. And this is, it's quite a fun project, actually. I quite, I quite like them. Um, and then you, you will go through, let's say, magazines or newspapers, um, go online. You can, you can sketch some stuff out if you like, and you add the images to a board. Um, and the images that you use, essentially, they represent uh, what it'll be like when you are sat in your um, in your long term goal. So what you're aiming for, um, it could be even further in the future if you want to use that as a reference. So you could do something maybe for for one year, but have let's say what you want in five years on the board. You know, um, it doesn't have to be specifically for your long term goal. It can be things that you want to achieve around or after you achieve your long term goal. But visual boards are or vision boards are very, very powerful like that. And are very good. They're a really, really good tool to have. And another another good one is um uh, is a vision map. Um and I quite like those. <clears throat> when you're working through your goals, um like if, if you have short term goals, medium term and long term, your like your long term goal is your is your main aim. Um and then you'd break it down into medium term goals. So you'd have different different steps or different checkpoints that you try and reach on the way to your long term goal. And then in between um each medium term goal, you'd have a short term goal. So they might be they might be weekly, your midterm or your medium goals will be um will be monthly possibly and then you could have daily goals on top of that um <clears throat> and what a map does is so you let's say you draw out a map on a board and um, you put in what your your goals um like images towards your each goal at each medium um medium term point uh and aiming towards your long term point where you'd have like a, a group of images around around that um and then your short term goals will be like smaller images, like little ones that are grouped together to to go towards your medium term. But you'd you'd have essentially um, you'd have a path kind of drawn out for yourself on this board. And then a good idea is to have an image of yourself or something that represents yourself, um, and to stick that on the board and to move it to the different parts of the board as you move across it on the way to your long-term goal. And to have something like that, either at home or at work or within a planner, um, is really powerful, something that you can refer to, something that you can see like every day and you can refer to and you can see where you are on the path. <clears throat> and even your vision board, to have that somewhere that you will you'll look at and you'll take out frequently um, is a reminder of, why and like what makes you want to reach your long-term goal you know what i mean um it's definitely a really really good motivator uh, i find them so powerful um another another tool is just visualization itself um like how good those like vision boards and vision maps can be visualization you know if if you if you're the kind of person that um, is is visual that is you know stepping into a visualization quite often um, is a good idea and let's say mapping it out like you did for your vision boards it's kind of similar but for this visualization the main one will be it's when you've reached your long-term goal that's when you do a um, do a visualization so around your visual, visualization, you'd ask yourself certain questions. So you put yourself in the scenario and close your eyes or keep your eyes open. Um, I don't mind, I can do, do it with my eyes open. Um, you put yourself in the moment or in the time after you've achieved your long-term goal. And you'd ask yourself certain questions 
and draw yourself through it. You know, it's kind of like um, it's kind of like the map, but you draw yourself through your day or through your week after achieving your long term goal. So usually I'd start off with asking certain questions like, um, you know, you'd start off with waking up in the day. So I was like, where do you wake up? You know, uh, what do you see around you? Uh, what is the decor like? What do you see out the window? What do you hear? What do you smell? What do you have for breakfast? And by doing that, you're asking the person to kind of look around to see what's there, to see um, their visualization as they want to see it, as as they want to get there, you know? And let's say if their visualization, you know, if it's if it stays within where they are right now, that's fine. Um, we go to the different elements of their visualization that is different to what it is now. So let's say if it's a career, so we go directly to, let's say, them driving to work and what it's like when they get there, uh, what the atmosphere is like, what are the people that they work with like. Um, if it's something around relationships, we'll go to the relationship, like what, so it's, uh, like you wake up in the morning, uh, who's there, um what's the atmosphere like you know and we we go more we delve more into relationship what's that relationship like like how's uh what's your role in it you know how do you feel with it um what's the communication like and things like that and uh, visualize visualization is so powerful you <laughs> it's so powerful if if you can get someone or if you can get yourself into that zone um especially for for long-term goals if you can feel it if you can feel it if you can actually put yourself in a position where you're there like and you know like i would i would even for myself uh refer to this quite quite a lot um go into where you would like to be and feel like you're there and what is what's going on around you and just talk myself through the process and this is uh something that you know i think you should try to get in the habit of if you can feel it and if you can kind of get the vibe of what's happening around you it kind of feeds into it more it kind of tells you this is why or this is the reason why i'm doing it you know for that feeling or for let's say the things that it allows me to do when i get there um feeling of accomplishment the feeling of respect um, the feeling of just being your authentic self and to be able to be your authentic self you know um some might do it for money some might do it for love some might do it for um just the pure passion of it or the adrenaline rush of it depending on what it is and yeah these are these are things that can really drive people to um to kind of make a step in starting their goals and trying to reach their medium term goals in the drive to try and get their long term goals. It definitely is a very powerful mechanism, a very powerful tool to um, get people to understand what the reason is behind doing these things. And that really it's just for them, it's for them to reach the better version of themselves that is true to them, you know, um, that they are happy with, that they are proud of. And that is the most important thing of it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably talk about this again. Like, it is a really, really kind of um, good subject and it's something that I definitely have a passion about. Um yeah, for now, I'm going to, to leave it there. Um, yeah, so please like and subscribe to my videos. Um, uh, also share if you don't mind. Uh, if you feel that it's worth sharing, I think it is. <laughs> Visualization is a good one. Um, yeah, and I hope you have a pleasant week, um, a pleasant day, a pleasant week.